Hello and welcome to my talk, Internet Challenges from a Health Education Perspective. My name is Julia Wettmüller and I'm a PhD student in Chemistry Education at the Technical University of Darmstadt. Let's have a look at the structure of the presentation before we take a closer look at the individual points. First, I will present the research interest with regard to the topic of Internet Challenges. This will be about perspectives that are particularly interesting for my own research. Then, I will give an exemplary insight into the current state of research on the basis of a study carried out by our working group. In this context, the Cinnamon Challenge will be considered in more detail. Finally, I will give a small insight into a conducted interview study and outline the further research project. Internet challenges are a part of current digital culture, as we can see not at least from the high number of clicks and likes on the challenge videos. The term Internet Challenge is understood as a collective term for videos in which people film themselves while performing the same action as the founder of the challenge. These videos, in turn, encourage other people to repeat and maintain the challenge. There's a variety of different challenges that are very popular, especially among young people who are strongly represented and involved in social media. From a science didactic perspective, Challenges with substances that are absorbed via mouth, nose, eyes or skin are particularly interesting. They are often easy to imitate and appear harmless, but sometimes they can also pose considerable health risks. Furthermore, I am interested in the perspective of teachers on this phenomenon, as they are the ones who are responsible for health education in schools and who may have to carry out preventive or interventional measures on internet challenges in class. Let us now continue to look at the current stage of research by means of a selected study on Internet challenges carried out by our research group. Since there is still very little research on the topic of Internet challenges from a didactic perspective, our working group first surveyed the existing substance-related Internet challenges from 2015 to 2018. For this purpose, a total of 2035 YouTube videos were viewed in which intentional risks with substances were taken. Using a previously tested analysis grid, the videos were categorized by several people and the percentage of each category was determined, as we can see in the next slide. The following categories with corresponding proportions resulted. We can see that in almost half of the videos, substances were ingested by mouth. The oral internet challenges were further subdivided in two types, which we will have a closer look at in a moment. After oral challenges, picutaneous challenges, in which substances come in contact with the skin, are the second most frequent form of substance-related internet challenges. More rarely, substances are administered via the eyes or nose. In addition, there are challenges involving the handling of fire or explosions. Due to their frequency, only oral challenges will be examined in more detail at this point. As already mentioned, the oral internet challenges are further subdivided in two types, oral 1 and oral 2. In type 1, the oral intake of acidic, basic or very pungent substances causes irritation. These include the chili challenge, where we eat and swallow a chili pepper that is high on the Scoville scale, the cinnamon challenge, which we will have a closer look at in a moment, and the Tide Pod challenge, in which an individual consumes a Tide Pod. In type 2, the ingested substances cause a feeling of disgust and nausea, often by overstraining the sense of taste or the stomach. These include, for example, the Red Bull and Milk challenge, where you mix Red Bull and milk, which together give a pasty consistency and you have to drink it without vomiting. Furthermore, milk chugging, in which you have 60 minutes to drink one US gallon, that's about 3.8 liter, of whole milk without vomiting, and the baby food challenge. I already mentioned at the beginning that the substance-related challenges are interesting above all because they can pose a certain health risk. For this reason, I want to use an oral challenge, namely the cinnamon challenge, to further illustrate the issue of health problems connected to challenges. I also paid particular attention to this challenge in the interview study, which we will examine afterwards. 
What exactly is the task behind the cinnamon challenge? You have to swallow a spoonful of cinnamon powder without taking any liquids for support. Sounds easy and is also very easy to imitate with things everybody got at home, but the curse of the challenge usually looks like this. The participants take the cinnamon in their mouth, try to swallow it, but it usually takes just a few seconds for them until they spit out or cough up the cinnamon powder, followed by drinking to get the rest of the cinnamon out of their mouth. What looks simple and maybe even funny is more difficult than expected. Let's have a look at the health consequences that can result from the cinnamon challenge. Health risks can arise due to the powdery properties of cinnamon and its ingredients. The fine cinnamon powder the participants try to eat removes all the salvia from the mouth and makes swallowing impossible. Therefore, mouth and throat become very irritated, coughing and shortness of breath occur. The resulting struggle of the affected person for air causes particles of the cinnamon powder to enter the lungs. Cinnamon powder is the dried, powdered bark of cinnamon trees. Consequently, cinnamon consists cellulose fibers. Inhalation of fine cellulose fibers has a damaging effect on the lung tissue. This has been shown in an experiment with rats. Cellulose powder was intratracheally administered to the animals. Even a single administration can cause chronic inflammation and scarring of the lung tissue. A further risk factor is coumarin, which is a component of cinnamon. If coumarin is ingested orally in large quantities, it causes headaches, dizziness and vomiting. Depending on the type of cinnamon, the coumarin content varies. Now that we've seen the potential dangers of a challenge that is easy to imitate and that may not seem so dangerous at first sight, let's have a look at the teacher's perspective on internet challenges, especially the cinnamon challenge. Six problem-centered, semi-structured interviews were conducted with Chemistry teachers. They were asked about their views on internet challenges in their own experience. Furthermore, the teacher's assessment of the following aspects was requested. On the one hand, students' engagement with internet challenges, and on the other hand, possibilities for integrating the topic into their chemistry lessons. To clarify their assessment of internet challenges, the teachers were shown a video of the cinnamon challenge during the interview, which they were asked to discuss. The aim was to find out how teachers assess the risk of the cinnamon challenge. The semi-structured interviews were transcribed and evaluated, with the help of the summarizing content analysis according to Meiring. Based on the analysis, seven main categories were formed that reflect the spectrum of teachers' responses. When asked to assess the potential danger of the cinnamon challenge, one teacher answered the following. Now nah, it burns a little, they say, they laugh until the end. They're also standing, also breathing, so it doesn't look so dangerous. Yeah, please note that this excerpt of an interview was translated in English. To evaluate the hazard potential of the cinnamon challenge, the teacher mainly uses the reactions of the young people she can observe in the video. She does not provide scientific justifications with regard to the substance that is used in this challenge, namely the cinnamon. It shows us how easy it is to misjudge the hazard potential of an internet challenge when only a single video is used and only the reactions of the participants are considered. The other chemistry teachers who were interviewed estimated the hazard potential of the cinnamon challenge to be higher. However, they also showed ignorance and a decent uncertainty in dealing with this internet challenge and its risks. What can be shown in this example is that a combination of scientific, psychological, sociological and media educational considerations are necessary to deal with the complex phenomenon of internet challenges and that teachers need support assessing this problem. The interviews also show that the teachers want this support because they see the relevance of this topic. To support teachers in addressing internet challenges in their lessons, we want to create a digital platform in our further research, which will provide, for example, 
basic informations on inner challenges. That means descriptions of performance and physiological risk, as well as help in classifying the degree of damage, as well as informations on interventions and didactic background informations, links to the chemistry curriculum, and a media perspective on internet challenges. These selected contents are closely related to the help that the interview partners mentioned as desirable and have further been supplemented by other important perspectives. I'm now at the end of my presentation and I hope you've gained an insight into the topic of internet challenges. Thank you very much for your attention. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or suggestions.